I spend a lot of time thinking about balance, humanity, and I often hide a political meaning in my work. I like pattern, repetition, signs and symbols, and text is also a recurring theme. Back in 2019, I wanted to say something. I had something sort of on my mind, and the word listen kept coming to me, and it feels like the right thing to say at this time, uh, partly due to things like the pandemic, the uh, political climate that we're in, and also global warming. I wanted to create an art installation to address fluctuations in time, space, and motion by using variations in light and dark threads woven in bands observing vibrating changes in mood. I have used a minimal layering of colours in these abstract textiles which are being made from the traditional goblan weaving technique to create a soft continuous matte surface uniquely observed in these tapestries. Within the central panel there are alternating shifts of grey and red woolen yarns and the word LISTEN in capital letters. Each tapestry starts with numerous drawings in graphite and red pencils or sometimes gold gouache paint. In these sketches I have only used the red colour to indicate my message. Red is a colour associated with anger, strength, passion and is often used on public signs to indicate something of importance. I enjoy drawing, it's more forgiving to errors and alterations and offers me the foresight I lack in my weaving. I then use a traditional weaving technique which has its roots in centuries previous to this one. The monochrome grey palette of walls are hand dyed. I start with the darkest grey and then I halve the recipe and then halve it again, halve it again, halve it again until I get to a white wool almost colour. Dyeing the wool is something which I really, really love. It definitely connects me to the thread. Very similar to a painter who sort of layers up a canvas with paint. I'm doing a similar thing with the wool by repeat dyeing those shades which increasingly get darker or lighter. And it's a really beautiful technique. I love weaving, it's my soul. It's a process which allows me time, space, meditation. It holds you, it gives you purpose and stops you from searching for other things. You can only focus on the process itself when you're weaving and so you have to be ever present. It's that moment, that time that develops the best parts of me. I work with worsted wool as my main weft and cotton dyed warp. Both are fine and create a soft matte surface. I've developed my own style of text. I use the grid itself as my framework for the tapestry. So tapestries have all got sort of a grid inside them. So I also work on gridded paper. This in some ways creates a stronger geometric text and it sort of punches the words out amongst the greys and vibrant red background. The construction of a tapestry is really slow. It's meticulous and considered. Some people might describe it as a discipline and I'd agree with that. It takes long, long hours and you place the threads through the warp and frequently have to remove them. It's a considered art. It involves slight changes of tension and incorrect pressure of the bobbin or a lapse of concentration and the whole textile is ruined. This subtle balance of risk is perhaps a metaphor for more pressing events of the world. 
We're living in a time of equilibrium and it feels like that's being really unbalanced and disorganised. We don't seem to be responding at all to the fact that red lines are being breached all the time, whether it be you know, for global warming or whether it be for the pandemic. It just feels like people are not listening to us. So the red line is the point at which there is no return. It feels poignant to use the metaphor at this time in conjunction with the words listen. I hope that this artwork will challenge you, will make you talk to me about it and the words that are in it and how they, you, other people respond to it is really important to me. That dialogue, that um, challenge, the and I really hope that it actually provides some sort of hope for the future as well. Um, because it makes people think that they are potentially breaching those red lines and maybe there's another path that we can go down. <laughs>